playing with my toy. That's mine. Oh, Daddy. this isn't mine? I thought it was mine. No, it isn't. Yeah. We had a really nice Christmas. Last year when Rob fought it was right after Thanksgiving, and then this year it's right after Christmas, but um, we're still able to enjoy the holiday and have family time and spend time with friends and, um, you know, make memories. Glenn has a lot of personality. He is all boy. He's very enjoyable. He loves to be around Rob. Slippery. You all right? You okay? Do we need to bring you to the doctor to maybe get your leg taken off? I'm never going to bend my leg. It's probably just too slick on our driveway. I don't really try to mix my fighting with my family just because I just don't. It's just easier to keep them separate. And obviously my son knows I'm a champion, but he doesn't watch my fights or anything. It's just two separate things. Let him be a kid as long as he can. Who knows what he'll want to do with his life. Camp's gone great. Carlos is one of those guys who, who can do it all. So uh, in this camp, I've had to concentrate pretty much on everything. Uh, my ground, top and bottom, takedown defense, takedowns, and striking. Carlos is a well-rounded individual, so just want to make sure I'm sharp in every aspect. Oh. Every fight brings some challenges, but you got to be ready. You got to review those challenges about your opponent over the time and just uh, be aware, be ready. Every fight is, is getting better. Every fight is adding up to his tools and arsenals. And it's just been a great process. It's just something I've done for so long. It's just easy for me now. I've been around this sport for so long. I've just been fine-tuning my body and just being around really good coaches. And I'm all business, uh, doing what I need to do to stay the champ. Mike Dolce uh, has helped me out a little bit. Um, came out here for this camp and and uh, you know did, did some cooking for me. But uh, you know he can't be out here all the time. Uh, so no, that was just about for a week. So I'm, I did the majority of my my cooking. You're good. Firmness. Is he gonna pop me? Can I have that piece? I fucked my mouth. There you go. Mm. A little bit for me. I stuffed my mouth. Choo choo choo. I don't want to have to give you the Heimlich on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Silly boy. We don't change anything really. We eat like this year round. So, and I mean, he he has pizza here and there, and you know, when I'm at, when I'm at a camp, I'll you know some pizza here and there, or something like that. But I bite like crap. I feel like crap. So. I'm gonna do the Heimlich on you. You're gonna do the Heimlich on me. You don't even know the Heimlich. But if I need it, you gotta do it on me. Uncle. Yesterday we went to my mother's early in the day. You know, ate there, and then uh, we went to uh, their families uh, out, you know, opposite side of town. But it was awesome, you know. So we played a bunch of games, just hung out, ate more food. And, you know, got home like at two thirty in the morning, which is a good time. <laughs> I woke up and worked out this morning. So, oh, God, it sucks getting old. Whoa! <laughs> They're all in bed. <laughs> They're like, sorry. I'm the loose. I'm on my gas. I'm on my gas. <laughs> <laughs> Good to see you, man. Good to see you. How you doing? Merry Christmas. Me too. Thanks for having us over. Absolutely. Pasta, a veal and peas dinner, which is an old Italian recipe that we have, and uh, meatballs and pork from the sauce. Nice. And a wonderful salad. This is uh, Steve Bay's future mother in law's favorite salad that we're making here. You might not really want to watch because it's probably not the most healthiest salad you've ever seen. But And then we're just going to toss it. There yep. she is. Now she's out of cooking, though. <laughs> <laughs>
and look at the egg crisp. Look at the crisp. All right. Be the salad taste tester. Put your finger in there. Taste test. Grab a lot of. That's good. Perfect. Thank you, dear God, for the people around us. We certainly ask you, dear God, to bless Steve Bay in his fight. Give him strength. Give him courage. Give him the heart of a lion. And bring home a winner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Amen. 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 Oh, no, he, no. Forget it. He's in training. Oh, he's got a power block and he got yeah. oh, okay. Or from the, from the <laughs> mail? Yeah, maybe. Oh, it is hot. Holy shit. Oh, that is, is hot. Something yeah, right. under, don't touch it underneath. Okay. It's really hot. Yeah. Mm. I'm stuck right. is my place where I have all camps. I was born in Belarus. So I do love snow. Maximus, Greg Jackson, he gave me a hope, you know, he told me, listen, you're absolutely not done yet, we have like a lot of work to do, just if you want to start everything from beginning, just come to Albuquerque, come to my clinic. He's a very smart guy and he's a very educated coach and uh, I enjoy work with him. They have contest, who first throws a snowball? Fucking good. <laughs> yeah, winner. I'm a winner. I'm a burner winner. Kasoy! Papa! Definitely, I made the right choice. I made the right decision, and now I'm in Albuquerque and the right place, right people. I still have fire in my eyes, you know. I'm sure I have a few more years.